Hi guys, so yeah, it's been a hot minute since I did a YouTube video, like, my bad. But yeah, basically I get a lot of questions about my sleeping routine. Um, and I didn't really want to post about this until I was like, sure that I could share something that kind of worked for me. So, like I wanted to wait until I had trialed like nearly everything that I was recommended to come on and then like tell you like what I thought of certain things that I thought and like what has really helped me. So as you guys know, um, I'm fighting stage four sarcoma cancer. Um, and I suppose like the disruption in my sleep kind of happened way before my diagnosis, but I, I didn't realize, like I didn't know, like I didn't notice that that was what the problem was. Like I just thought I was stressed or whatever. So yeah, cancer cells in your body can affect your sleep, for those of you that don't know. But a lot of people have just sleep problems just because they have, like, sleep problems. And it's nothing to do with having cancer, um, but these tips might be helpful. I suppose I will start by letting you guys know, like, how I wind down for bed. So the first thing that I do is I go and I make sure that my bed is made and ready for me to get into. There are a few things that I do have, um that like really helped me like get into bed and wind down. And don't laugh at me, uh, this guy here. So this is, his name is Woe. We call him Woe um, because he goes, Woe. And he's a hot water bottle that I literally just picked up in pennies. So I think he was like, he was actually a bit pricey because he was Disney, I think it was like 14 euro. And um, I picked him up in Dundrum. I first of all make my hot water bottle, put that in my bed, ready for me to get into. Make the bed up. So like I make sure that the bed is made up this is something that I bought in Heaton's and it was really, it was such a big comfort to me when I was in hospital. This here, it's like a big blanket and it goes on like a hood. Um, so this is something that I definitely, this like I sleep with this on every night, like I literally do. Um, so it's a unicorn. Where is this? Oh, there it is. You've got to use what makes you comfortable. So like if you have a special blanket or you have a special song or you have a special like position in the bed, like make sure that like you're monitoring these things because sometimes it can really just be as simple as like how you're lying or like, you know, what sheets you've got on the bed. If you're into energies and stuff, I change my sheets quite a lot and that's meant to be like a big one and um, because if you keep them on for longer than a certain length of time, apparently like bad energies can attach themselves to it. So. I just like to make sure that my sheets are clean before we go into the products. Um, this is something that I got at an event. So it's basically just a, it's a beaker, but it's one with a straw and it's not gonna spill. It's not too much of an issue um, to drink. And I suppose one of the reasons that I bring a beaker like that to bed with me is just because you don't notice yourself drinking the fluids. So like if I have that beside me while I'm in bed watching Netflix on my laptop, most of the time, I don't notice that I've drank it all. I'm like, if you're just, if you're dehydrated, it can affect your sleep. So I try, that was one thing that you guys recommended was that like, I really try and like hydrate more. And in that, by the way, is my wadi. Like I can't drink water on its own. I just can't do it. So then I suppose it's a matter of like moving on to the more product based stuff. So I'm going to start off with medication just because, um, I want to get it out of the way because it's not for everybody. Obviously, if you're not ill or you don't have any ongoing issues with your health, you're not going to be on medication. But these medications, for the most part, actually are um, ones that like anybody can nearly use. So, um, like a lot of them are just supplement based. So this is magne these are magnesium sachets. I don't know whether you can. Yeah. So these are magnesium sachets. Um, and you get them in the pharmacy. I think I got like 20 days worth or something for like nine euro. So there's none left in this. I've been using them. So they're basically just granules for oral solution. The reason that I started taking these was because I take THC, which is the illegal element in cannabis oil. Um, it's meant to um, fight cancer cells. So I've been taking that. But I did notice that it is a psychotic drug. So I was feeling dizzy. I was forgetting things. I was a bit all over the place. Apparently, if you're a bit like... If you're struggling with your kind of concentration, magnesium is meant to be really, really good. So I tried it and it definitely worked, but magnesium also helps you sleep. I take a sachet every night before I go to bed. The other thing that I would use then as um, a form of medication before bed is pyritin. So the reason that I would use pyritin is because down in my region, um, I have really bad like dry skin and scarring. That sounds so attractive. It's not visible, <laughs> it's just, it gets really itchy at night time. I find that if I put a cream on, and the cream that I tend to use is this organic CBD cream, um, 
that was sent to me by Recovery CBD. So this is it here. You'll see the consistency. Um, it's like that. It's very like kind of tarish. So I have to put it like on the back of my nail almost. This is legal by the way. It's completely legal. So it does smell a bit like weed, but I just find it really good. I find it really good for the callus on my port, on this on the scarf of my port. I find it really good for my dry skin. So I use that and then I will take a pyritin to go with it if I'm struggling with itch that particular night. That is what I would use. And this is available from the Recovery CBD website, which I'll leave the link for below. This is just pharmacy. And that really stops the itchy, itchiness if you're suffering. Like sometimes at night time I just get randomly itchy as well if I'm feeling agitated. So I would take one of them. But I also find like they're quite, they can make you a little bit drowsy. So I find them, like if you're struggling to sleep because you're itchy, one of them does the trick. Along with my THC that I take every night, I do take these capsules here. So you can see them from Recovery CBD. So that's what they are there. So they're the number five original ones. So they're a nine strain blend of um, cannabinoids. It's made with just um, kind of CBD oil um, and coconut oil. So it's really all natural ingredients and they're really kind of good. And I find them really good because they counteract the stone that I get from the THC. So I was finding it really difficult to get up in the morning from the THC because it really just knocks the socks off you like. And I found this really good for counteracting how stoned I got on the THC, but it also has a lot of kind of vitamins. But the reason that I'm trialing all the CBD and THC stuff together is because I wanna make sure that for my next scans in January, I just wanna try it and see like if it'll have any effect, but it's definitely had an effect on my energy levels. So this is the CBD oil um, that I got from, Recovery CBD again is again completely legal. And the way that you take that is you literally just, um, I'll show you guys now. So you literally just go like this and you pop it under your tongue like that and you just leave it there and I do that when I wake up in the morning and at night time I know there's not a lot of THC in it and my tolerance for THC at the moment is quite high but I do find that I get relaxed off that and the other thing then that I'll say that I definitely do get relaxed off is the CBD tea so I got given this again by recovery CBD and again like this is not a sponsored gig and it does sound like it is sponsored but it's not so recovery CBD are an Irish company and um, that just distribute uh, CBD but one of the reasons that um they got in touch with me when I got sick was to see if they could help with any of their products. Lads, this is all just genuine feedback. I've been using this stuff for a while, like a few weeks now, and I do find it really good. So a cup of that really helps relax me before I go to bed. So the next few steps are kind of more ritual based. I do have faith, so um, I'm not particularly religious or anything, but I do have faith. Um, and I like to practice faith before I go to bed because I just feel like it really helps. Um, me feel better <laughs> you know like in my head mentally so I do believe in like aromatherapy and I do believe in the power of prayer so one thing that I always do before bed I always make sure that firstly I've got some kind of aromatherapy on my bed so sometimes I might, might use burn sage around the bed sometimes I might use sprays like these this is a spray by Neom um, and they're an organic company based in London and this is the sleep so this got given to me very kindly by Quigley's Pharmacy um, Jane from Quigley sent it to me and I like as you can see like I have been using it and it's just been working wonders like it really has it kind of introduced me the whole aromatherapy thing and I started like putting essential oils in the bottom of my shower in my bath and I just find such a huge benefit from using aromatherapy like I genuinely do feel like it relaxes me as I said before, I do like to pray before I go to bed. So I usually would, and don't laugh at me, I don't, like I'm not particularly religious or anything, um, but I do use holy water. So I would either bless myself or I would scatter some on the bed. Um, this was a present um, from a family friend and they got it in knock for me. And uh, yeah, I just like to use it sometimes. Not all the time, because I don't want to waste it. But I do like sometimes if I'm feeling particularly down or if I feel like I need some guidance or if I'm, just feeling like I want to be protected a little bit, like I'll put some on my bed. And see, a lot of this is mental, you know what I mean? And it's not going to work for everybody. And then lastly, the last thing that I do use is that I have a um, Himalayan salt lamp uh, that I keep beside my bed and I leave on all night. Um, and it is something that I do really believe in. It's meant to heal you. It's meant to be really good. So I do use that. And I am waiting for a essential oil diffuser to come in the post. But like again, like these things aren't going to work for everybody. But they are something that can probably work for more than just me. If I can help anybody, I'd like to. Do you know the kind of way? So that's why I'm sharing. The other thing 
then is that sometimes, and it actually happens quite a lot, I'll wake up hungry. Like I'll wake up hungry or I'll um, not sleep because I'm hungry, aggressively hungry, randomly, like in the morning or late at night. Um, and there's all these diet culture myths that like tell you not to eat after a certain time and not to do a certain thing or not to eat a certain thing after a certain time or whatever. Um, I personally believe that if you're hungry, eat. Um, so like, there's been times that at four o'clock in the morning, I've gotten up and had a bowl of soup with some bread, you know what I mean? Or I've gotten up and I've um, had some baby food on toast or something quite light but nutritious. It's very important for you to listen to what your body has to say. Like listen, like if your body's hungry, you're hungry. You need to eat something. So I do really try and work on that. That's why I bring the drink to bed with me. Um, and that's why I have tea before bed and make sure that I'm like relaxed and hydrated and stuff is because it's so important like a lot of the time I'll go to bed I'll stay there for a while and then I'll get back up and like it's not as easy as when I do these things they work completely and I'm fine and I'm great and here we are it's basically just more like th these things help me and on occasion one thing might be the saving grace out of all of them but they do tend to work for me and um, the other thing as well people always kind of say about like turning off your phone like make sure you've turned off your phone no blue lights whatever and um, personally um iphones have a night mode and i just turn my phone on night mode um which dims the lighting so that it's not a blue uh, like it's not a blue light ray which is the one that's meant to be bad for you it's like a different kind of light so i find that when i do that i sleep a lot easier there are all these things um that i do and they may or may not work for you but i hope i have helped shed some light and um, this is just my journey so far so again lads i was never really into health like to be honest this is all something that i've had to learn um i've had to really learn how to mind myself and it's like definitely not something that i'm good at I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not claiming to be perfect. I'm just saying that I've tried these things and they've worked for me. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with somebody. Guys, if you've got any tips that like I haven't said, comment below, let me know what you do to help you sleep. Thank you for watching. Also, if you've got any requests that you'd like me to do, comment below and let me know. And I have a bit of good news as well. From now on, I will be uploading a YouTube video every Tuesday, given that my health allows it. So like, of course, if I'm in hospital or something, it might not be that easy, but I'm gonna try and stay on top of it. And because I do really wanna just start talking more, I feel like Instagram is something that is great, but you really can't pack a lot of content into it. So I wanna start doing videos so you guys can like get to know me a little bit better and like kind of like come with me like on this journey, do you know what I mean? And, and see what I'm doing and like, learn from stuff that I learn from. Every Tuesday I will be doing videos that will be, for example, like life updates or requested topics or whatever. So this was one that was requested, so I really hope you liked it. And I will catch you guys next Tuesday.